Which you guys got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be looking at how we can uninstall uh, OneDrive from Windows 10 and also disable OneDrive in Windows 10 if you have Windows uh, 10 Professional and above. Now, this also works in Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 or Windows 7 as well. Now, it's been said that you can't uninstall OneDrive in Windows 10, and it's also been said that it collects information and spies on you. So, if you do want to remove it completely, I'll show you how to do that. But if you have got the uh, pro version, you may want to just disable it in Group Policy Editor, uh, and then that will stop that anyway, saving you having to remove it all uh, the way I'm going to show you. Um, bearing in mind, be very careful uh, when uninstalling this, uh, just in case something goes wrong with a registry or anything like that. You may want to create a restore point at that stage before you continue or make a backup of your system and if you're not quite familiar with working with computers you may want to leave this well alone and leave it uh, leave it alone to the professionals to do it okay so I'll quickly show you where OneDrive is located first and we'll go to File Explorer here and we're going to go into this, this PC and C Drive users and then the account which is what you're using app data which is this translucent look if you haven't got that then you need to put the tick in hide as you can see here it disappears into hide items like so go into there then local then you want to go into Microsoft and inside here you should see OneDrive inside OneDrive you should see all these files and these are the files uh, that are actually going to be using OneDrive okay and it's been said that some of these files are not uh, deletable and you can't delete them and that is right this script won't get rid of all of it but I'll show you how to deal with that in a second so let's first deal with the GP edit so we're going to go GP edit MSC again you will need pro or above to do this so I'm going to open up the group policy editor uh, just along here and widen this up a bit so you can see this is a very simple solution you want to go to the computer configuration then administrative templates move on down to where it says Windows components drop that little bar down there and then come down to where it says uh, OneDrive there's OneDrive on the right hand pane here you can see now it's not been configured and prevent the usage of OneDrive for file storage and you can read all this information here and the requirements here you can read all this if you want so you just double click on this now and all you need to do at this stage is put in the enable like so and then apply and OK and this will then uh, make that drive um, not available to you so once that's done normally you click on this now and it won't open as you can see here because obviously we've disabled it so you could use this method okay now I'm just gonna reverse this now if you do want to reverse it all you need to do is go back into uh, the local group policy editor and not configured and then apply an okay and that will then put it back like so okay the next thing we want to do is use this script to remove or uninstall OneDrive from the system and as you can see here it's got some information here don't worry about this this is just going to delete all the information here now this doesn't delete everything and I'll show you what else you have to do to get rid of everything inside there okay um, completely so what we're going to do is right click and run this as administrator and just let that run you can see it's closing OneDrive process and then it will start to uninstall OneDrive off the system and that's going to remove OneDrive from the Explorer, Explorer side panel push the enter key and in that location there you can see everything has been removed apart from one little location uh, which is this here these files and I'm pretty sure that these you can't uh, remove here but let me just quickly show you a way if we can remove these files so what we're going to do here is we're going to open up the registry editor I'm going to go to reg edit 
like so and open up the registry editor I'm going to go to H key current user here and we're going to come down to where it says software and then we want to go to where it says Microsoft open that up and then you can see OneDrive here you can see a load of stuff inside here and we're going to get rid of that folder right there delete that and delete that out of the system so what we're going to do next is going to come up to here edit and find now you can use this method if you wish or you can use a tool like search everything uh, but you want to put in here OneDrive like so push next and this is the file here as you can see I'm going to delete that And then you want to do push F3 on your keyboard. If you push F3, you can see here it will start to uh, do this as well, as you can see here. So we're going to delete this. And you can see that folder is um, related to that folder, that path. And we're going to delete this key here. And this is the OneDrive as well. We're going to also delete this key as well. So we're going to do F3 again and there it is there as well we need to uh, get rid of that file there as you can see so just keep doing F3 OneDrive there's another one there and just be careful what you're deleting in the registry you want to be very very careful uh, but as you can see here I'm going through to make sure I can spot OneDrive so what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to get rid of this so we're gonna just uh, delete these last one here but you can go through that as you wish uh, and once you start doing that then what I'm gonna do next is reboot the system I'm gonna shut this off reboot the system okay we're back at the desktop now and again as I said this program here is another tool that you can use to remove all the remnants from there all you need to do you've seen me use this before if you don't want to use the registry is put OneDrive in here like so and then it will find all the OneDrive files as you can see here let me just pull this local Microsoft you can see OneDrive so we can try to delete this file like so and then once you've done that you can then go back to File Explorer you're going to go into your local C drive here and then go back into users and then the account app data then local and as you can see now Microsoft OneDrive is now been removed and all those files have now been removed now you can spend a lot more time to go through and clean up all the other remnants around the system but pretty much as I said uh, that should be it removed but you can delete other files if you want to sift through all this stuff um, but pretty much the the main core of it has been gone you'll see OneDrive set up here which is here you can use this to reinstall it as well if you wanted to leave that on the system but you'll pretty much find that uh, it's now not running on the system and OneDrive is now been disabled and it's been removed and uninstalled okay so anyway I hope this one helps you out guys just remember before you're playing around with the registry make backups and restore points of your system just in case it goes wrong and if you don't feel comfortable then leave well alone anyway so my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit that like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I upload new videos. Now if you've got any problems with your computers you can head over to the forums and join up over there and post your questions up over there or video requests. If you haven't joined my Facebook fan page you can also do that as well and information is on the screen. So thanks again for watching and bye for now.